Hi friends welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss the sixth part of previous year question for the post of scientific or cell biology forensic science laboratory here is your question the question is a protein kinase family involved in mitotic spindle formation option a atr option b atm option c armadillo option d aurora Okay, let us understand the term protein kinase in brief. Okay, what do you mean by protein kinase? Protein kinase are enzyme capable of phosphorylating other proteins. As a result, that phosphorylated protein become activated or inactivated. What do you mean by phosphorylation? Addition of phosphate group to any compound can be called as phosphorylation. Usually, the phosphate group is provided by adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Okay, so the main function of protein kinase is to activate or inactivate other protein by phosphorylating. Okay, the major uh, cellular process performed by protein kinase are signal transduction, the second one cell differentiation, third one cell proliferation and also involved in cell cycle progression. Okay, since same having this activity that is phosphorylating activity thereby activating or inactivating a particular protein comes under the category protein kinase family okay the first option provided in the question is atr okay atr is a serine threonine specific protein kinase enzyme okay it's a protein kinase enzyme why it is known as serine threonine specific protein kinase because it is responsible for the phosphorylation of other protein especially in the serine or threonine residue okay this enzyme phosphorylated other protein on the oh group of amino acid residue namely serine or threonine hence the name serine threonine specific protein kinase okay the full form of this atr is ataxia telangiectasia and rad3 related protein kinase okay uh, they are mainly involved in sensing dna damage okay and uh, thereby activating the dna damage take point that eventually leads to what cell cycle arrest okay the main point is that atr is activated in response to persistent single stranded dna which is a common intermediate form during dna damage detection and repair okay so this uh, protein kinase atr protein kinase is mainly concerned with the concerned with the sensing of what dna damage thereby it leads to what cell cycle arrest okay the second option provided in the question is atm the full form of atm is ataxia telangiectasia mutated protein kinase okay and this protein kinase is activated whenever there is a dna double strand break okay and um, we can generally say that these uh, atm become activated when there is a genotoxic stress like uh, double strand break of dna okay and uh, this uh, uh, activation of these protein kinase atm protein kinase is mainly for maintaining what cellular homeostasis okay remember the atr protein kinase is activated whenever there is a dna damage especially single strand break whereas the atm protein kinase is activated whenever there is a genotoxic stress namely double strand break dna double strand break okay Okay, the third option in the question is armadillo. Okay, armadillo is a protein produced by a gene armadillo gene. It is a segment polarity gene found in Drosophila, mainly involved in transduction. Okay, actually this uh, armadillo protein produced by armadillo gene mainly determine the polarity of segments in Drosophila. As far as your CSI net exam is concerned, uh, this drosophila developmental biology especially uh, the protein involved in the anterior posterior axis development uh, as well as the segment determining protein is of uh, much significance okay 
the last option in the question is aurora aurora is a serine threonine specific protein kinase they are mainly involved in cell proliferation okay they transfer the genetic materials to a daughter cell and the most specific function of the aurora is what spindle formation okay they are involved in the spindle fiber formation during mitosis which enable the transfer of chromatids to the daughter cell which eventually leads to what cell division okay i think you people got some idea about all these option mentioned here now you know the correct answer for this question and the answer for this question is option d aurora remember aurora is mainly involved in mitotic spindle formation which enables the proper cell division the next question is elaioplast is a plastid that stores option a lipid option b protein option c carbohydrate and option d chlorophyll okay let us discuss some important point regarding plastids plastids are double membrane bound cell organelle commonly found in plants which either store pigment or nutrients okay plastids can be classified into three types and they are chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplast chloroplast are green colored plastids and the green color is due to a pigment known as chlorophyll chromoplasts are colored plastid other than green color the common pigment present in chromoplasts are carotene and xanthophyll carotenes are yellow to orange color pigment whereas xanthophyll are yellow color pigment okay leucoplast neither shows any pigment instead of pigments they stores nutrients so nutrient storing plastids can be called as leucoplast leucoplasts are further divided into three types and they are ameloplast alluroplast and elaioplast ameloplast is the type of leucoplast which stores carbohydrates such as starch whereas alluroplast is the type of leucoplast which stores protein and uh, elaioplast is also a type of uh, leucoplast which stores oil or fat the example for ameloplast is potato the example for alluroplast is uh, the maize okay when you are analyzing maize you can see a layer known as alluron layer that protein rich layer containing a leucoplast namely alluroplast okay elaioplast is commonly found in tuberose uh, and castor okay remember ameloplast stores starch alluroplast stores protein elaioplast stores oil or fat okay so the correct answer for this question is option a lipid you know that elaioplasts are type of leucoplast which stores either fat or oil both fat and oil comes under the category lipid hence the answer is option a lipid the next question is attenuation involves a enhancing the virulence and antigenic property b diminishing the virulence and retaining the antigenic property c diminishing the virulence and antigenic property d enhancing the virulence and diminishing the antigenic property okay let us understand the term attenuation in brief attenuation is a term which is related to immunology attenuation is a process in which a pathogen or antigen is strong enough to cause immune response but too weak to cause disease okay as a result of attenuation process a particular pathogen or antigen um, is having the capacity to cause immune response but it is too weak to generate a particular disease okay attenuation stimulate an excellent immune response that is nearly as good as compared with the infection of wild type pathogen but as a result of attenuation process that particular pathogen is totally incapable of generating a particular disease actually attenuation diminishes the virulence or disease causing capacity of pathogen but retains its antigenic property that is retains its property to provoke immunological response okay and this attenuation process act as one of the basic principles by which vaccines are developed such a type of vaccines are said to be attenuated vaccines okay you know that 
the father of vaccination is considered as edward jenner isn't it but the basic principle of vaccination was first developed by louis pasteur remember okay edward jenner is considered as the father of vaccination but the basic principle of uh, vaccination was first developed by not by edward jenner it is by whom it is by louis pasteur okay i think uh, now you got the correct answer yes the correct answer for this question is option b diminishing the virulence and retaining the antigenic property the next question is for renal medulla brain etc sole source of metabolic energy is option a krebs cycle option b ornithin cycle option c emp pathway and the last option is electron transport series the breakdown of cis carbon molecule glucose into two molecules of three carbon molecules namely pyruvic acid is known as glycolysis or glycolytic breakdown this glycolysis is also known as emp pathway because various step in this pathway were discovered by three scientists namely emden meyerhof and parnas you know to honor these scientists this pathway was provided with the first letters of these three scientists namely emp pathway okay and this glycolysis process is acting as the sole source of metabolic energy in some mammalian tissue and cell type for example erythrocyte renal medulla brain sperm etc okay some plant tissue uh, that are modified to store starch such as potato tubers and uh, some other aquatic plants uh, derive most of their energy from glycolysis many anaerobic microorganisms are entirely dependent on glycolysis so the correct answer for this question is option c emp pathway emp pathway is also known as glycolysis or glycolytic breakdown okay okay let us look at the other option also okay the first option krebs cycle okay what do you mean by krebs cycle whatever the pyruvic acid formed in glycolysis enters the krebs cycle okay in krebs cycle each molecule of pyruvic acid get converted into carbon dioxide plus water plus energy and krebs cycle occurs in mitochondrial matrix whereas glycolysis or emp pathway occurs in cytoplasm or cytosol okay what do you mean by ornithine cycle urea cycle is also known as ornithine cycle in ornithine cycle the toxic ammonia is get converted into less toxic urea okay this uh, ornithine cycle or urea cycle is uh, exhibited by ureotelic animals okay and ornithine cycle usually occurs in the mitochondria of liver cell then what do you mean by electron transport series this electron transport series is also known as electron transport chain etc or electron transport system like that okay in the electron transport system the oxidative phosphorylation or terminal oxidation takes place it is a last or final step of aerobic respiration what is the main function of electron transport series in electron transport series the high energy compounds such as nadh and fadh2 are converted into their respective atp okay when nadh get enter into electron transport series one molecule of nadh will produce three molecules of atp and one molecule of fadh2 will produce two molecules of atp okay you know that nadh and fadh2 are the reducer form of nad and fad respectively what is the full form of nad nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide what is the full form of fad flavin adenine dinucleotide okay these are also coenzymes okay and uh, these coenzymes namely nad and fad are derived from vitamin b complex okay nad is derived from a vitamin what niacin whereas the fad is derived from a vitamin riboflavin namely vitamin b2 okay so the correct option for this question is option c emp pathway emp pathway is also known as glycolysis why glycolysis is known as emp pathway because various steps in this cycle were discovered by three scientists namely gustav emden 
ഓട്ടോ മേർഹോഫ് ആൻഡ് ജെ പർണാസ് എം ടെൻ മേർഹോഫ് ആൻഡ് പർണാസ് ഓക്കെ യു നോ ടു ഓണർ ദർ നെയിം ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റർ ഓഫ് ദർ നെയിം ഈസ് ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റഡ് ബൈ ദ പാത്വേ നെയിംലി ഇ എം പി പാത്വേ ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് വിച്ച് ഓഫ് ദി ഫോളോയിങ് ഈസ് എസ്ക്രീറ്ററി ഇൻ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഓപ്ഷൻ എ പ്രോ ആംനിയോൺ ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി കാറിയോൺ ഓപ്ഷൻ സി അലാൻറ്റോയിസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ആംനിയോൺ ഇൻ ദി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദി ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഈസ് പ്രോ ആംനിയോൺ ഓക്കെ In the embryo stage around 20 hours after fertilization, the head fold is visible as a half circular elevator structure in the front of germ layer. The proamnion lies in front of this head fold as a clear zone. The amnion is one of the membranes that will protect the embryo in, in a later stage. So uh, from the proamnion, this amnion is developing. Okay. so the uh, the main function of the proamnion is to derive a amnion thereby providing protection okay b option the question is chorion the chorion and the amnion together form amniotic sac it is formed by extra embryonic mesoderm and the two layers of trophoblast that surround the embryo and other membranes the chronic villi emerge from the chorion invert the endometrium and allow the transfer of nutrients from the maternal blood to fetal blood okay so the chronic villi emerge from the uh, chorion okay thereby uh, providing nutrients so the main uh, function of the chorion is to uh, provide or uh, providing a facility for nutrients okay The main function of uh, allantois is to collect liquid waste from the embryo as well as to exchange gas used by the embryo. Okay, hence allantois is excretory in function. Okay, let us uh, conclude all the options once again. Okay, proamnion is the region from which the amnion is developed or derived. Okay, and the main function of amnion is to provide protection. And the main function of chorion is to provide nutrients to uh, the through a chronic villi then the main function of allantois is to perform excretion this excretory in function okay so the correct answer for this question is option c allantois which is excretory in function thank you for watching the discussion of uh, remaining question will be uploaded as early as possible If you feel this video useful don't forget to like share subscribe and comment okay keep in touch and stay safe thank you